All right. As the first oh, pitch is sure. coming here. Oh, he paused it for I forgot me. I, I forgot I don't hit first. That's all right. I hit well with Ronald. But first question, we do have new episode, episode two. We're starting with a bang. <laughs> I'm going to. Nope, I'm not. Anyways, we got you back. Two, I forgot you got to play this game too, so I'm just gonna hit a yep. perfect, perfect first pitch of the day. Yep. We have our guest Boston TV. We're gonna Hello. go first inning, first question. We're just getting right into it. We are playing a baseball game, but let's start with the simple, simple the game behind it. How did you get into baseball? Man, I, it's kind of one of those things I kind of had to just do myself. Um... I think at the age of three, my parents got me into soccer, and I played I played soccer for like eight years growing up. Um, I really had to to get in. I really had to get myself into it. Um, especially, now I will say this: my my dad got me into college baseball big time, and it was it was a little bit after that that I really had to uh, get myself, especially into pro baseball. Um, kind of where I live, I I I live in the Braves market. And I get all the Braves games back when, you know, we still had Fox Sports Southeast, Fox Sports South. Um, kind of had to kind of had to get myself into it. My dad wasn't a huge pro baseball fan. Um, but it also helped the fact that, you know, I, I live like 20, 25 minutes away from a uh, double A team, which is the double A team of the Atlanta Braves. It's awesome. Which is um, your favorite team, which helps. Which is my favorite team. So, I mean, so the more the merrier. What, did they become your favorite team sort of because you were able to? easy access to the minor league oh it was, yeah it was the it was the one team i could watch at least every day if i wanted to i do remember uh my the first oh, lord the first the first uh good lord y'all didn't see that i'm trying to answer questions the the first the first player that i that i vividly remember was probably julio Tehran um when he was the braves ace and that that was a time and a half because he was the first pitcher that i really kind of i don't know I kind of gravitated towards. Okay, I thought. Uh, I, th I really thought, thought we got freeze off. freeze off for a second. Good eye. Two, two. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the Mississippi Braves, the Double A team for Atlanta. Oh, that's, we'll, take that's we'll take some runs. We'll take some runs. Hank, two. baby. Hank, baby. The start. That's a start. Boom. So then, were you? Did you ever get into playing when you were in high school, yes, elementary I school? Bench. So, because I got into it so late, it's probably the reason. Oh my God, Matt Walner! <laughs> Good Lord, Moss. But yeah, no, probably because I got into it so late. I think the first year I ever played baseball, I was like eleven or twelve, and by then it's just uh, there was so much that that I probably was severely behind on and didn't really help. Um, but I, when, when I did, I, I mean, I loved it. I, I could tell that, that it was, it was just kind of a love at first sight thing. I enjoyed it more than, more than any other sport that I had played. Like I, I got to a point to where I, I enjoyed soccer, but I mean, I had to get, like, I had to grow so much older before I could really get into it. I do think if baseball was my first sport, not like soccer, I think I would have enjoyed I guess going to practice more. Uh, I dreaded going to practice, uh, and I and I'm mostly blaming that on soccer because soccer practices are fucking brutal. Fair, fair enough. That was kind of. I loved baseball practice because all it was is you're just you just. Oh, hit. dude! I mean, it's <laughs> and that's just... because I played football too, and I dreaded football practice. Oh yeah, I tried football for one year. I was like, yeah, this ain't it. Okay. More because I mean I I was I was slight I was I was more of the slightly scrawnier type anyway so the super I mean you know down in physical sports probably weren't for me. Un understandable, gotta gotta have some muscle on the bone to. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I was I was lacking, I was lacking, but I mean it was just like fifth grade so ten eleven. Okay, so how how long did you play? That another home oh, run. Ball. Oh, no, it's getting caught. I missed it. So how long did you play baseball? So did you just I was, play till you graduated high school, and then just kind of yeah, pretty much. But I, I, where I went to high school, I mean, high school here, baseball, high school baseball here in the state of Mississippi is absolutely ridiculous. Um, yo, Benny, oh my god, dude, I appreciate you, man. 
Um, but high school baseball here in the state of Mississippi is about as competitive as you can imagine. Um, and it's just, I don't know. It's extremely political, uh, extremely competitive. And with me having gotten into baseball so late growing up as a kid, I, I was, I, I was a good bit behind and it didn't really help out, um, trying to play it, you know, beyond just high school, whatnot, Understand. as much as I, as much as I, you know, wish, um, as, as, as much as I wish that had worked out, you know, that's, yeah, like, I mean, shit, I'm here. So <laughs> I don't know if it had worked out, I probably would be nowhere near to what I'm doing currently. Fair, understandably, because that takes up so much of your time. It's a big reason mm -hmm. why I, oh, yeah. that's a big reason I didn't pursue college baseball. And I had a lot of friends and a bunch of people on my team that I was at the same mm -hmm. level as that did and i'm like i'd rather just enjoy college focus on getting my degree and not big time continue high school basically big time oh look at it i'm throwing meatballs out here trying to keep them in it and they're just hitting out. Fine. you gotta keep me busy <laughs> yeah well look at that as we end the first inning we lead into the second inning so too easy with, with baseball too easy how did you get introduced into baseball video games Oh, I also had to get myself into it. Well, yeah. So I will, I will say this. The first ever sports-related video game I ever played was NCAA 07 on the PS2. Okay. And it that was the first. I think that was, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was, maybe, maybe other than like Wii Sports, but I, I guess you can consider that part of it. Um, but I, I didn't really get into sports video games until that. NCAA 07 on the PS2 um was definitely the it, it, it kind of started like a like a like an avalanche effect and it just it was all down from there i mean it i got i got stuck and i couldn't get out of it and i just started getting addicted to sports video games and the more i grew love for baseball in general the more i wanted to play baseball related video games i remember so um i remember playing mlb 2k13 on the xbox 360 and it was it i it was something. Uh, I really enjoyed it, but I remember watching plenty of YouTube videos about MLB The Show, and I remember getting so jealous and everything. And and I know my my dad had a little PS Vita, and he, uh, yeah, my my dad had a little PS Vita, and I was actually very fortunate enough to get MLB The Show on it because at the time, that's when MLB The Show was still made for the PS Vita, and um, you remember and and it was what, what MLB, MLB was? Thirteen, MLB Ooh. The Show Thirteen was my very first MLB The Show on PS Vita. And for probably, ah, dude, I don't know, two, three years. I mean, I, I, I just, I absolutely loved it. I enjoyed it. Um, I, and, and I could probably speak for most of the, the newer players in the MLB The Show community, but Road to the Show was the vibe. Road to the show was it, man. Handheld Road to the Show hit different. Handheld Road to the Show absolutely <laughs> I... hit different because taking that on a car ride, Oh my god, nothing beat it. I had a PSP myself, and I had MLB The Show on it, and I, yes, power hitter, and you just sit in the car on a car ride hitting home runs. I swear, man. And and that, I mean, so, some of the soundtracks, oh man. Oh man. Here in the, you know, I got my, I got my earbuds plugged into it. I think, I think we got frozen. Come on. Ah! Somebody got that boo-boo internet. It ain't me. And I don't think it's moths. Yeah. All right. With the first pitch, we'll get back into it. Inning one, which is actually inning two. We were talking about how you started with MLB the show on the PSP. But yep. So what of all of them you have played so far, which one has been your favorite or like Maybe some of your best memories from one of the or some of the MLB the shows. Um, well, I probably have to say 16 has a special place in my heart because that was my first ever on an actual PlayStation console. Um, I think was it December of 16? December of I think I think it was December of 16 because usually we get the game out in March and. Yeah, so I, it, I think it was December of 16 was when I got my first PS4, and I was so stoked because playing it, playing, playing it will be the show on a PS, like an actual PlayStation compared to playing it on the PS Vita, I mean, it's a world of difference. 
And fortunately, uh, I don't think I was aware, but MLB The Show was not going to be continued on the PS Vita very longer. Um, so I, I kind of got that at the right time. I'll turn that. Oh, let's go. Huge! Let's go. I almost missed the throw with Bichette. That was almost a yellow throw. Yeah. Dango Bear, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you, bro. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I think I think 16's got a very special place in my heart because it was my first on an actual console. And I mean, it was night and day difference. Seeing it on, I don't know, what, 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 could, what could we say? You say 60 frames. 60 FPS compared to 20 FPS. I mean, it, it's yeah. very similar to what, what it feels like on the Switch right now. But it still felt a little bit better than the Switch from what I can recall. But also um, at the time, it was more equal, I would say, to the console than now, where the Switch is such a backwards in technology than what oh, we have yeah, for big consoles. Time. Big time. Oh, yeah, no, the PS Vita was way way beyond its time. Um, but I'd probably have to say 16, uh, 16 and probably 21 uh, are probably some of my favorites. 20, 21, I, I still think 21 tops a lot of others. I think the biggest thing for 21 is always just that it was the first year with cross platform, so there was so many more people. Oh, big time! And so much more exposure because big time they put the they had the money coming in from people buying it, so they were able to promote more and actually just, which helps a lot. Yeah. Ooh. Wait, that was a swing? No shot. Rob, again, that was I'm... a swing. Yeah, this game doesn't like me lately. <laughs> Ooh, good eye. Surprised that wasn't called one too. Okay. So with them will be the shows. Uh, we have, the mode we mainly play now is Diamond <laughs> Dynasty. What yep. would be some of your favorite cards from the years you've played Diamond Dynasty? Oh lord. So with how good the Chipper Jones is this year, I don't think much beats the Chipper Jones Live Series Collection Award from twenty one. That that Live Series Collection Award from twenty one was hands down probably one of the best cards in the game, without a doubt. Um, it was, okay, so another card when I was kind of early on in, an another card that I'm thinking of when I was kind of just early on in, in Diamond Dynasty was, was Ben Zobrist. Um, ben Zobrist was absolutely, I just, I loved everything about the card. He was clutch, he got hits. I mean, most others couldn't get. He hit the all fields. He hit from both sides of the plate. He was a pretty damn good defender. I mean, he just, I don't know. He had it. He had that it factor. Um, that it factor. Nice. He, oh, dude, he had it. He had everything you needed. Um, I'd probably say, I don't know. Early 21, when, when, when 99 Corey Kluber was like, I mean, it's it was hard to describe how good that Corey Kluber was at the start of 21, but that, that, that 99 Corey Kluber at the beginning of 2000 or at the beginning of MLB, the show 21 was absolutely filthy. I think, and I, I remember think that having was to face 20 him for, because I was it 20. Yeah, Cause I started on 21. So. Okay. Okay. So whichever it was, yeah. I, it was unreal, unreal, which 20. So me with 20, that is the yep. first game where I really started taking an interest in watching uh, Twitch and all yep. that stuff, which yep. will lead us into our now third inning in questions and kind of where I and how I met you it through Twitch and content creation. So, what got you into that? How'd you start and get interested well, into creating content, watching Twitch, watching YouTube? Well, I mean, I wasn't I wasn't really playing sports at the time. I mean, this God, this is what. 2020 march of 2020 um it's march of 2020 um and I, it was like right after everything shut down right after everything shut down and i'm bored out of my mind um we weren't doing anything it, even if i was playing sports i wouldn't have been playing them then but, you know I, I was i wasn't playing any sports at the time so I just had a, I had an unbelievable amount of free time, and I'm I'm sure most people could say it too. Um, but my my love 
of playing video games. And at the time, I was really, 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 really big into MLB The Show as well. Um, I, you know, I, I thought, you know, hell, why not? And I wanted to get into streaming. It was a, it was a, like a, it was never, I, I, maybe not a dream, but like growing up and watching years and years and years of YouTube, and you're just like, man, that'd be so sweet to do it. That would be incredible to, to be able to do something like that. And I was like, well, I mean, if I ever get the opportunity, I, I, I want to try. And I, I honest to God, I didn't see a better opportunity than to do it right during COVID. Um, and a lot of people were home. Uh, a lot of people couldn't go anywhere. A lot of people couldn't go to school. Um, and it was like, you know, just about the time of summer anyway. So most people are going to be getting out soon anyway. And I was like, Man, this, I mean, I, I got to try and hit this. And I remember doing it. I did it for about a month. And I was like, it's all right. It's all right. And uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't crazy about it at the time. I think I, I did it for a month, and then I stopped for a few months, mostly because, I mean, when, when I first got into it, I mean, I was trying, to, I was trying to, to, to treat it as if I had been doing it for a long time. So I was trying to stream as much as I could. I kind of burnt myself out a bit. Um, I just, I mean, I mean, first month streaming, you know, I'm not getting many viewers or anything, not really any traction. And um, it just... You know, it was it was a very long process, and I, I wasn't really yeah. sure if I was kind of meant to do it or I was made for it. Um, I took a few I took a few months away from it. And, you know, we're still in the middle of COVID, so that was just a whole that, that it was a whole everything going on at the time. It was it was it was weird. Um, but I took a few I took a few months off of it, and honest to God, I didn't really think I was going to pick it back up again. Um, and now looking back at it, I'm really glad I did. I picked it back up in like August, September. Um, I know we were kind of getting. We were kind of getting to some of the slower times of MLB the Show. Um, cause usually, that's that's when that's when games start slowing down. Is about yeah. the All Star break. Well, we didn't have one that year, but same same thing. Um, and I picked it up again, and I got really consistent into it. I had been saving up a lot. Uh, I think I had just bought like a like a gaming laptop, and it was it was supposed to be powerful enough to to really you know kind of carry some of these streams a little bit. Um, and you know, each stream I got more and more serious in it, and I I got really, I got really excited to kind of you know see what see what I could do with it. And I keep in mind this is well before I even realized that it would be a good idea to, to try out TikTok and everything. And you kind of <laughs> got me into that, <laughs> dude. I I apologize. Talking this much and trying to play this game at the same time is like a death wish, but I'm trying. No, um, that's the you think so, but when you just start focusing on not the game. You're gonna start hitting everything. You're gonna swing more, but you'll start hitting. It, it, it well, happens. I know, but like usually, usually I, I try not to talk this much. Yeah. Like when a pitch is being delivered. I mean, like that. I, I followed that <laughs> a little bit. I followed that a little bit, but some of the some of the timing is just way off. But yeah, um, I got into it and I just I I kept at it. Uh, eventually, I, I saved up some money because I was still working a job, and I'm still working that same job now. But I was saving up money because eventually I wanted to get a PC. Nothing, you know, nothing beefy. I didn't plan on playing and streaming PC games. I just wanted to, you know, I've been I've been rocking the same capture card ever since I started. Um, and I mean, it, it's 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 quite the it's quite the journey I've been on. But you know, I'm 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 happy about it. And you know, years later, I've been doing this for a little over three years now, and, and you know, here we are. And I couldn't be any I couldn't be any more grateful for for what I've done and how how far I've come. Definitely a lot different than three years ago when you were just picking it up. After. Oh my god, it's not even close, <laughs> not even remotely close. Okay, so you talked about kind of streaming and having a job. Yep. What other yep. hobbies do you have outside of that when you have free time? What else? What else are you spending your time on? Nothing. Right now, nothing. <laughs> now, if you asked me that a couple of years ago, I'd probably say, you know, I was doing a lot of like extracurricular activities. I did play baseball for a while outside of school. I did some travel ball and whatnot. Uh, played in some leagues up in, a, in a, up in a city that I live uh, not far from. Um, but I, I did all that. Uh, I was doing theater. Just kind of, I don't know. I, I'll definitely say when COVID hit, I mean, it, it, it really took a, a hit on everything that I was kind of involved in. And that's kind of why I, I probably got so invested into this. I didn't have much else to do. And, and you know, it's 
this this kind of just became my my main hobby and i don't i don't really think i've picked up many other hobbies other than you know watching sports youtube um you know spending time with a girlfriend now see those are hobbies you can't be out here telling me ah oh, nothing oh, those are but... sp- things you do in, and hey Watching sports is a hobby. You have. I, mean, you have, you I don't consider pets. it. I, that's that's my lifestyle. I don't consider that a hobby. I consider that my life. Like I just that that that's just routine for me. Like yeah, I come home, I see what's playing, and shit, I do it. Normally, I'll, I'll have it playing next to me while I'm streaming, yeah. et cetera, see, et cetera. Watching watching TV, watching movies, listening to music, watching sports. That's all hobbies. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> well, I'll just let you answer the question for me then. Well, what do you mean? Answer the question for you. Well, you, I mean, I, you just answered it for me. I mean, you just. Oh well, yeah, kind of. I don't know. I you said everything. I you said everything I'm I could have re- said, but I, I, I did re- it. Relaying what you were. You, you yeah. You were just yeah. You were reforming my words for me. <laughs> Why is he not on the bench? <laughs> what? Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> what? That is horrible. No shot that just happened. Well, I thought we left that in 22. <laughs> I I really thought we left that in 22. I haven't that's had horrible. that happen all year, and in they're going to get a run off of that. I have not. That's horrible. Wow. That's fine. We'll make it back up. <laughs> that's just... We'll choose, we'll choose an inning to kind of lock in. He was just... Stay, well, we got, a little, we got a couple extra ones to work with because we had that freeze yeah. off, so... Yep. That's... That's just. Oh. What of questions are we on right now? The third or the fourth? We are on the fourth. Inning. We're we're on technically inning four. Yep. So still kind of. That's why I was trying to ask. What else you're spending your time with? I know you mentioned a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And what? Working. Work. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I know you have some dogs. Oh yeah. What are, What are the dogs' names again? Peanut and Skip. Lifelong, I mean, childhood dogs, pretty much. Peanut, a good bit older than Skip, and I mean, they, I've everything I've pretty much ever known was 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 with them, kind of by my side. Love them to death. Two little uh, Jack Russell Terriers. I think Skip's full Jack Russell. Peanuts, half Jack Russell, half um, Chihuahua. The you, however, that's... that works. Um, they're both rescues. Both rescues. I know. I'm pretty sure Peanut was a Hurricane Katrina rescue at uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. Oh, that's and Skip's not quite that old, but he was also another rescue. We adopted both of them. Okay. Peanut, when, when you think about it, Peanut's up there in age. Um, if if she was a, uh, if she was, I mean, I don't know, maybe probably not directly after Katrina, but I don't know, maybe a year after. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, if that's versus a lefty, it's gone. Yeah, big time. Darn. Let me hit one with the Cunha here real quick. First pitch, I'm swinging. He's throwing fastball up and in. And Go ahead. It's gone. That was not a fastball. <laughs> All ones that count. <laughs> no, not quite. Not quite. I'm I'm just swing happy. You get swing happy when you're not locked in. It happens. Nope. Well, I was also looking fastball both those pitches, and neither of them were a fastball. He hasn't oh, I hunt fastball. Yet. That's probably my biggest issue playing this game is I hunt fastball almost every pitch. Oh, that's exactly what that was. Mm-hmm. All right, I know it's only the fourth inning, but counting the first inning and the other one, it is the fifth yeah. inning, which means it's the five fun facts for the fifth inning. Good so, lord. Were you able to think of any fun facts, whether about absolutely yourself? not? Oh come no, on! No, absolutely not. No. Nothing that. Something that's just kind of cool about you that people may not know, or nope, inside ball two. Nope, nope, not that I could think of. I think so. <laughs> I might even let chat help me out with this. Okay, hey, fair. chat, chat, I need five fun facts about me. <laughs> Spit them out. See, this is the point where you're supposed to be teaching them things they don't know about you, not just well, sometimes, sometimes when you got me out the spur of the moment, I'm just. I'm at a loss thinking. Fair, fair enough. There are none? Mm. Well, you heard it from here first. <laughs> he said it, not me. Big time college baseball fan. 
I mean, that's just that that's a given. If you follow me on Twitter, huge college baseball advocate. I don't think it gets the attention it deserves, and I <laughs> I swear I, I don't... most of your followers on Twitter have come from college baseball more than almost streaming at it right away. That's how it kind of mm -hmm. felt like you had a lot you met a lot of people through college baseball on Twitter. Oh yeah. That's similar how mine mine was more twins or Vikings sports fans. Yeah. Um Braves fan. Uh Leak even threw it in chat. I'm a I'm a Saints fan too. Uh we don't have to go much further about the Saints fan especially with you but um <laughs> feel enough. free to put a feel free to put a clip of stefan diggs just absolutely owning our franchise um <clears throat> but uh i i will be a, uh, i will be technically a junior at mississippi state in the fall okay. uh, i got accepted two weeks ago something like that super excited about that lifelong dream the first school that my dad ever got me into and it's just it's it's been it's been a, it's been a long time coming, but I'm I'm super stoked. I would describe it as very much a part of your personality is Mississippi State, and you weren't even going to school there at the time. So Go dogs, the fact baby. that you are going to school, Go dogs. There, this might oh, be, it's, we it's might a, just a be a walking true. billboard for oh yeah oh fuck yeah man <laughs> the amount of maroon and white you're gonna be seeing. Me, I mean shit, I'm even wearing a Mississippi State shirt right now. Oh. Um, but like the the amount of uh the amount of the amount of Mississippi State gear I'll be rocking up at Starkville, it's gonna be I don't know. I'm just warning y'all now, it might be unbearable. That was I these guys got a damn good eye. Test me. Oh no, it's not the best throw in the world. I threw two guys out yeah. the other night in one game with Hank. I thought I thought it was gonna be it. If it wasn't, I don't know. If it, if it wasn't so far over into right center, we probably would have had a shot. I should we get the bullpen going. Fair enough. Fair enough. We even go to uh, so, pickles. I guess this would be sort of a fun fact about you, but we can also tie it back into the content creep. Uh, yep. How you came up with your name? Slash decided on your name high school uh, i think we had it was like right before a theater rehearsal we i think so I, I i was like getting places early i i hate being like one of those kids that's known for showing up right at the start or like right at the beginning um i'm a junior in high school senior in high school i, I don't exactly remember what year but you know I, I could drive so i could get myself up there soon well because of how soon i'd get myself up there we'd have plenty of free time before you know rehearsal started whatever uh, I remember there was some other friends. We, I think we just, we were literally just messing around uh, before one rehearsal. And I mean, it's not even it's not even that cool of a story. But I mean, we we were just at the point where we were so bored. Uh, we started throwing like random letters in front of everybody's names that was there and and other people's names that you know that, that was in the cast with us or that were in the cast with us. And we um, I don't know. I, I think it it got to the point to where we like we threw the letter B in front of my name. You know, my name being Austin, we just threw the letter B in front of my name and and it just kind of, I don't know, kind of stuck. And it got to the point to where even the theater director started calling me that too. And it just, yeah, at that point, it just, it stuck oh. completely. Fair, fair enough. I don't think I've ever actually heard that story. So you probably have, but I, don't I mean, know. it's probably been so long. It, and uh, again, I don't really, I don't really tell everybody. I feel like, I feel like I remember hearing it maybe in like a short, just, uh... It's very possible. I do know we all we all had like for for travel we all had jackets with our names uh, embroidered into it, and that was, I mean, if you wanted to put your name, you could put your name. If you wanted to put a, an appropriate nickname, you could, and and that was that was the name that uh -huh. uh, because it stuck so well, that was the name that I got embroidered into mine. So you had your your player weekend uniform nicknames. <laughs> oh hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Hank. Oh yeah, my I, God. I can't hit this game. I, I'm, not, left, I'm not catching up to anything right now. I like, left all, my hitting, I left all my hitting in the first game, I guess. Yep. Oof, good eye. Good eye. Synchromental in. 
Oh, I you, was right. You knew it was coming. I do that all I, the I, time. I, I hate when I, I sent a missile up with the PCI. Come on, hate. Mm! I thought you were sending that one. I, I was waiting for it to drop, and it never did, and I, I had my PCI in the middle of the uh, zone. There it is. There it is. I was like, Let's there's go, no baby. reason to get into the next questions, because you're about to hit a home run here. We'll just sit back and enjoy the home run. <laughs> get us back in this game a little bit. I'll hit oh, a base hit. <laughs> I'll I'll I literally love Hank so much. With, uh, Joe Maurer here. And get on base, I'll oh, drive you in. Oh, jeez. I may even, if you get a base hit here, I may even sub out JD because he does not hit righties. Oh my god! That's a oh Joe my god! Base speak it into for, existence. I think the, I'm gonna take out JD. That is the he did not hit righties oh very well. My, get oh. back to first. Come on now! Come on now! Oh no no no! Yeah no. Where? Hold on. Let me get Josh out real quick. Hmm. Give me Hosmer. Give me Haas. Now watch me roll over first pitch. Yeah, I suck at hitting with Hosmer. So I never put him in. Yeah. I actually like Josh Donaldson's swing enough, so that's why I'm willing yeah. to comfortably use it. Oh, so, out of play, out of play, out of play. Out of play. Uh, nah, mm. out of play. If anyone was getting there, it was Ricky Henderson. Uh huh. One ball. Two. Oof. Are we about to. Get the lead here. Oh my god! Next inning. Next inning. We'll have a next inning. All right. We that... actually, we actually, we actually figured something out that inning. Well, you maybe did. <laughs> I may have. All right. So as we get into the sixth inning, the fifth, sixth inning here. Uh, do Hit you me. have any celebrity or professional athlete stories? Did you ever get to meet anyone? Crazy famous, or just like have a cool conversation with anyone of Lord. I uh, so no, uh, mostly just because I get we so never really went to a whole lot of professional sporting events, it was mostly just collegiate sporting events up in Starkville, uh, on weekends or whatever. Uh, but I do uh, the, the benefit I have had of living down here. Uh, so close to where the Mississippi Rays play are is the fact that, you know, if we have some highly talented prospect coming through, you know, go catch a game, go get an autograph. And I actually have a, I have an autograph from Dansby Swanson. Uh, actually got it in person. That was a really cool experience. Uh, yeah, he, he didn't really say much. He's just, you know, kind of trying to fly down the line, get all the autographs signed, whatnot. So, I, you know, it's whatever. Um, and for whatever reason, uh, other Saints fans might know this name well. For whatever reason, uh, the Walmart kind of near where I live, I was trying to think, I probably roughly 10 years ago, just to just to kind of throw something out there. Um, I remember there was something going on up at Walmart, and they, you know, like they'll, they'll do samples and whatnot yep. uh, of, of different products and whatnot. And Joe Horn, former wide receiver for the New Orleans Saints, uh, who's famously known for uh lifting up the goalpost pad and pulling a cell phone out and, and taking a you know pretending to take a phone call after scoring a touchdown if i'm if i'm recalling correctly that was him but uh yep. took a phone call after a touchdown he's just kind of infamously um known for for that uh that touchdown celebration he was he was uh he, he was at my local walmart selling some of his at the time, it was his new barbecue sauce that he was he was trying to make into a line. Oh, you're throwing him out. Test him. Oh, Test him. Absolutely Test him. Toast. Test him. Toast. That Toast. was your Toast. mistake. I don't know why he even thought that was a good idea. Yeah, that was not a good idea. You can tell him. But yeah, I mean, it's something. It's 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 kind of simple. But I've never really, I've never really, off the top of my head, I've never really come into contact oh, with a ton God. of professional athletes just because of kind of where i live and and i mean the the closest the closest like major professional sports team uh it, it would have been new orleans which from where i live is about roughly four and a half hours and you got memphis which is roughly three to four north of me 
Um, I just, I'm kind of like dead smack in the middle of, of kind of a dead zone. Luckily, I, I can say that I don't, it's not as bad as like up in the Midwest, like up in Montana, uh, Wyoming and whatnot. I, I'm sure True. that can get pretty desolate up there. Um, but, but I, I have, I will say that we, it's, it's, it's rich in college athletics down here. So there's, there's that at the very least. I mean, now I have a ton gonna, of pro sports to go watch. You're going to go to Mississippi State and become friends with all these pro of athletes course. before of the course. pro athletes. Absolutely. There you there, go. There, so, <laughs> um, former high schooler, uh, like former high school uh, classmate, I, we actually lived in the same neighborhood for a while. Who He was a second round draft pick to the Orioles a couple years back uh, out of Southern Miss. He, we've, we've kind of been in contact about playing a co-op game at some point okay um just there's just a few that justin foskey who i'm actually friends with on playstation he is currently a uh minor he was a former first round pick to the texas rangers out of mississippi state um we we even played a couple times a couple friendly games i think back in 21 or whenever um i haven't really talked to him in a while but i mean i'm sure he's he's extremely i think he's currently in triple a right now with the rangers and he's a he's an infielder which i don't really find him getting any playing time for the Rangers at any time soon. I hope they kind of trade him at the deadline this year because I think they can get something for him. One ball. And this man's like, yeah, I know nobody. I never had – you have playing active video games, almost a friend with some of these guys. And I, Sorry, my, for my first thought after a little bit of thinking was like, you've literally had conversations with Sandy Alcantara. And well, like, yeah. Come on. That's so I kind of – I ain't going to lie. I kind of <laughs> forgot about that. Uh, I mean, it, it was it was a little while ago, but yeah, you know, Sandy. I think Sandy Alcantara was kind of making the rounds on Twitch, uh, and that that was actually before twenty three had dropped. So there, I guess there weren't that many people streaming uh, MLB the show at the time. But yeah, I've I've had Sandy Alcantara in my Discord before, um, or in my stream, and and then he he sent me a, a friend invite on on Discord, and we actually got into a few minute call, and he just you know just just I thought it was the coolest thing ever. That's so yeah, so cool. Okay. I think we go. We are. We, go to the pen. we are in the. That's fine by me. We are in the seventh inning. So at one point, okay. well, for one at bat, you gotta get up, get some, get some stretches in. I think we have to do it after the middle of the seventh. Because ah, you, you, yeah. you, I, I'm not gonna do it while I'm pitching because I can't. I'll do it when you. Have well, yeah, so I think that's so why I'm I, saying we do it. We do it when we're hitting. So yeah, when I'm hitting, you can get up and stretch, and then shoot. When I'm hitting, I'm swinging at first pitch, so you sit your ass back down. <laughs> Uh, I've had it before where there's a runner on base, so they have their controller set down, so that makes it makes. It I was not paying fun. attention to that at all. I was taking a sip of a drink, and it was your guy. And just I had one hand it? on the controller. Oh, I had one hand on the controller. Yeah, that's all you need. All you need. I don't know if you're hitting first or if I'm hitting first. Uh, I think you so, are. If you're hitting me in my pajama pants, oh. I'm gonna get up and do some. Touch my toes and get some yoga stretches in. So I'm hitting. Yep. So you got get your get your stretches in. Then we'll stretch out some. We'll stretch out. I already some. beat you. I already beat you to it. Hey, I haven't even started. Oh, yet. what, what the about? hell, Eric Gagne in the sixth? Technically our seventh. That's horrible. Actually, that's fine. Get get him in the as sooner the sooner the better because <laughs> the sooner long, he has to get out. As long as we don't have to face Aralvis Chapman, I'm fine. Oh god, I god, forgot about Chapman. That is on. my the only card I don't want to face. Yeah. Ooh, I think I just gotta sit fastball, react curveball. How I gotta whack it? Yeah. Go, okay, I'm driving you in. You're two. Well, I'll be on, Easy well, two. You better hit a home run because I'm not running from second. I, I'm taking my headset off, and we're going to get back here. I, I, okay, that, fair that enough, fair enough. Will you I'll take a pitch just you. because. What a pitch. Mm. Some, mm. And I actually, the, I hate it because I think I had my PCI on that. But I chose to take it anyway. Ooh. Make up call. Ooh, I wanted to nice. swing, nice. bro. I can't. I like. I can't pull the trigger right now. I was saying no shot. He gives me that oh, same nice. pitch again, and Wait. I got under it. We'll we'll keep him in scoring position. Yeah, that's Mickey in center. He. Yeah, I think he would have been out anyway. 
I, I thought bet. on the swing that one might go. Well, um, well, here's here's Hank. So I mean, you got the chance. <sighs> I wasn't sitting fastball at all. I was just looking whatever I was looking at. Yeah. Finding one. Ooh. Good eye. Ooh. Good eye. Come on. I. One ball, two strikes. I personally struggle badly against Gagne. Because no. I never. It's, it's so hard for me to pick it up, especially no. in Hall of Fame. All right. We do have do get next? one more at bat at least here with Joe Maurer. Okay, come on. Drive it in. Come I'll on. I'll ask you one more question for this inning. See. Okay. So going Hit back me. to the content side of things, yeah. What was the favorite your favorite content you've ever made? Oh, Lord. <sighs> I'm trying to think. I mean, lately, uh, I know I had a couple of TikToks just kind of, I mean, absolutely explode there for a minute. Um, those I, those are probably some of my favorite to do, just because it really got Jet involved with it. Um, where Chad had the ability using their channel points got to change my hitting view for an inning. Um, and sometimes if, if I felt like I was, I was so close to actually getting it, I would be like, okay, you know what? I'll give you another inning, whatnot. And, and that way I could get, you know, some more content um, for, for a video clip and, and, you know, hit, hitting, hitting a bunch of nukes on all these different uh, camera angles is probably, it, it, it was, it was challenging and I really wasn't looking forward to it at first. Um, but that I think that the very first time I did it, and I actually noticed some success actually doing it. I think, I think that that really started my my enjoyment of doing that. It had it's been a minute, but it was definitely it was definitely enjoyable. And I'd probably just because of the feedback I got just from that little series I did on TikTok, I, I think that was by far my favorite. Fair enough, and that kind of leads into the questions for the eighth inning, which are plans for the future with content. Is there anything Lord. that you're or or non-content related things. You have anything exciting you're looking forward to here coming up in the one and one. future? Well, yes. Uh, I will be fingers crossed moving into an apartment in July, exciting. August. Ooh. And I I really I I really want to hit it hard on we, on Twitch and whatnot. Are we getting a whole new stream setup room? No. But Ooh. I will be well. I mean, it, it, every I will not be here. I will not yeah. be in this current room that I'm I'm in right now. Um, you know, well, I think we're gonna we're gonna get like a, just a one bedroom place. I mean, we don't need two bedrooms. Um, we're still in college. Uh, but I'm sure at, at some point we will we will look into that. That way, I'm you know I'm not I'm not kind of hogging the whole space whatnot. But, um. Until then, uh, I'm really, I'm really excited about putting together a kind of a new setup uh, in the living room in an apartment, and just kind of, you know, ma making it my space, like like I have done, you know, for 21 years in in my own bedroom that I grew up in. Super, super stoked, um, and just really, really, really excited to actually, you know, kind of keep this going. I, I don't, I don't want people to think that I, I plan on on just absolutely killing this off just because I'm going up to university. I don't intend on it. And, um, and, and we'll, we'll just kind of have to see how it works out. Um, you know, we'll, I'll be back in school by then, but I, I don't really know how eager I will be to go get another job while I'm up there in Starkville. So that might, you know, know. that might, that might give me a little bit more time to put towards the actual content creation side. Um, and depending on, depending on how much time I find myself gaining, I, we, I might look into actually, doing youtube -ish. that's what i was uh, waiting for I, we'll, we'll, we'll just Woo! we'll just we'll, we'll kind of we'll kind of have to see i i will say being fortunate enough to have the following that i do on tiktok and on twitch so far would probably help with the growth on youtube to begin with um i definitely think building up a viewer base and and a bit of a loyalty to your community first before or like trying to do both at the same time would probably be incredibly difficult which i think that's why so many people try to get into youtube and eventually just kind of have to cut it off just because they, they it's it's too much of a grind sometimes but because i have built up a community and i built up a, a you know a bit of a viewer base and a following i think i think making a, a slight transition to youtube as well would, would be 
not incredibly difficult and that's that's the you know it's kind of the hope right now okay. but that's kind of all that's in any, anything anything can go right now um anything could go at the moment we're just kind of feeling things out it'll, it'll, I'll, I'll be continuing to feel things out for the, the the near future so with the thought process of that have you had any thoughts of like types of content or series that you would like to I mean, attempt so to put out or make or... with with you kind of doing this and and like i was mentioning a little bit ago with with kind of like that I, I guess you could call it like a mini series over on tiktok yep. i i've been i've been really trying to brainstorm new ideas because every everybody everybody on youtube everybody on tiktok they're all trying to they're all trying to find their own jam yep. trying to think trying to find the thing that will kind of set them apart and I, and i and i will admit sometimes on on tiktok uh the, the content can get a lot most of the time it, it not most of the time but but a good bit it can get extremely repetitive just because you know we yeah. we all we all look around and see what everybody else is doing on tiktok and and kind of want to you know it it is definitely influencing and and sometimes i sometimes i think it can get stale just because it's all the same, yeah. um, and I, and I think every everybody the, the constant the constant fight with our our minds of trying to be slightly different, um, and and kind of have something different. It, it's definitely it's definitely a process, but it's definitely a process that that I I thoroughly enjoy doing, um, and and plan on continuing to do for time to come. Fair fair, fair enough. Okay, that's the with that question. I would the only thing I really was trying to ask slash figure out is if there is anything that I could do to help help you get the push slash start you towards. Well, hell, I mean, pushing shit. towards you, YouTube slash with series and stuff like that. You already you already got me into TikTok. That blew up. Um, I I I definitely I definitely you you look at youtube nowadays and, and a lot of these like playthrough videos are are people who are they're playing with groups of friends and i and i i think that's absolutely vital to having success on youtube is is being able to to play with a group of friends and being able to tag them and and when they post the same video of the same you know gameplay mm -hmm. they they tag you in it etc cetera, etc cetera. but um i i definitely i definitely think you know building building a, a friendship with people building a building a connection to others branching out and networking definitely helps and and i and i definitely think just i mean hell Mots, how long how many how many months are we talking uh almost three Lord, years I mean, so i mean that's it, <laughs> but that that's is that unreal. is the whole reason i'm kind of just saying all in on this uh idea that i kind of had i oh, yeah. literally on i don't even know friday I was just driving around and I was like, I want to do some sort of like a podcast where I can take all of my friends that I've made through this and just use my platform to promote them and learn oh, more time. about other people because big time. at the end of the day, yes, I want to get people to know me, but I want my friends to succeed too. And I want to do anything I can to help with that. So... That's what a kind guy. of what I'm using this to do is what a guy. Literally open Amazing. up and get people to know more than just hey, I baseball, I play baseball. I want people to know more <laughs> of people in their personal lives because that's how you build that connection, <clears throat> even with just the community as a whole. Absolutely, they get to know you, then they feel like they know you. You become more like friends. So then, it oh yeah, intrigues people more to be around and involved in your stuff. So Big that's time. kind of what I wanted to use this as. So I've always wanted to have a some sort of podcast where I had that stuff, but also didn't have the time to play podcast, have a podcast while also wanting to put gameplay out because mm -hmm. I want to have some sort of gameplay where I'm have these cool moments. And at the end of the day, most of my day is spent streaming this game, trying to make content. Of course. So I want, them, of course, I want people to watch that. So that this ties in. We're still getting that gameplay. We're gonna have the cool moments where, or the weird moments where, my guy threw it over to first, and the first baseman standing next to the umpire, or, uh, yeah, in an episode that I filmed earlier when it was oh go oh go, that's gone, that's gone. Or we yeah! just do that. We tie it up and we have comebacks yeah, like this, baby, and we're gonna come go. back and win. There's gonna be some cool moments, and that's kind of why I saved 
the ninth inning, which will be eighth and ninth for this one, just as that lock back in, let's win the game, let's get some cool I knew it. Yeah. MLB I kinda, moments. I kind of it had it absolutely had that feeling. So yeah, I know I know for the longest time Mook had been asking me to get on his podcast, and I need to. I've just been. I think I think it, I don't know. I think I think it's everything else that kind of. That I'm kind of invested my time yeah. in is it, it takes time and planning it, it, and yes. scheduling, but it and... also it also takes an incredible amount of patience and actually working together and yeah. finding times where y'all are both available. That is probably the most difficult aspect. I've already learned that with trying to schedule stuff for this, and I wanna, yes, and I want to schedule more than one person in a week, so I'm asking yeah. all multiple people and then trying to fit in. <laughs> So big time. Yes, it is very I I get that. And I think it's worth it because that's kind of what inspired uh, me a little bit to get further into this is listening to Mook's podcast of all the other community members or Oh, absolutely. And just learning more about them and literally like I'll use a very specific example and I hope to have him as one of the episodes on here eventually. Uh I listened to the, I had listened to, I recorded with Mook, and then I think like CJ and Taco recorded, and then yeah. uh, Pseudo made, recorded an episode with him. Yeah. And I had barely, like I had just met Pseudo at that time, and mm-hmm. he hopped into a Discord with uh, us at one time, so that was like the first time I met him. So then I saw he did the podcast with Mook, and I was like, oh, I'll listen to it, and actually figure out who this guy is as a person, and I instantly listened, I was like, I love this guy. And now I've become very good friends with Pseudo, just interacting oh, yeah. with him. Pseudo, Pseudo that, because, I'm... yeah, and I literally, I didn't even know who he was, really, before that. And then I was like, oh, this guy's awesome. And then I started tuning into his stream all the time. And I want to be able to do unreal. that for people with this, is the hope. is like, someone Absolute, who watches yeah. one of these episodes sees this episode with you and like, damn, that Boston guy is pretty cool. I'm a Mississippi State fan, too. I'm going to go tune into the stream. Like, stuff like that is... <laughs> what i want to have happen from this so that would be yeah i i i definitely i like the whole it, it's it's definitely building bonds uh it's, it's just giving attention to to people who might not get the most attention compared to other people in the community oh you got a cover man cover they just don't are no one wants no. to cover first today <laughs> hell no not even the first baseman wants to cover first base no, I I definitely think it's it's every every and, and I, I think it's because the the MLB the show community is just extremely supportive of everyone else in the community. I don't really think there's another gaming community like it. I really don't. Oh, 100% um, agree. And I it's every everybody wants to support everybody, and this is this is a massive example of it. And everybody else who who is who has done you know things kind of similar to it with podcasts and whatnot, it's just it's huge, huge. I think I got. Oh, it's staying in, please. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think it was gonna like the wind was. Gonna I didn't think away. it would either, but like, just oh my kept, goodness, kept carrying, kept carrying. We're gonna walk this thing off, and this is gonna be an epic way to to win. This oh, one thousand percent. I feel it coming. I don't know about you. I think you're also due. I, I, think you're I fully do. expect like one good hit from me. I've had a couple singles, and that's about it. I'm throwing it first. We might throw them out. Nah. Okay. We of all the cover. times that the first baseman wouldn't cover first, and you automatically <laughs> expect him to cover it on that, that's mind blowing. Matt Walner's got a cannon. He does. You're not wrong. Uh, oh, sh- I'm going. To no, Ronnie. Ronnie's. Off. Hold on. Just cut it off. There's no way he scores. Home. Yeah. I, oh, there was wow. no way he was going to score. I've never had a cutoff not go in the middle of the meter. It was on all the way at the end. That was weird. Show off. Oh, I didn't hit it. I Because it doesn't show when you hit the cutoff in co-op. Uh-huh. So you're just sh- shooting blind. So I hit it in the middle. Oh, we're bringing in Pickles. Oh, great. Oh, if great. they can use both starters, so could we. Pickles is just... And this might okay. completely backfire, but we'll see. Hey, we only need an out. We only need one out. And I know. Everything's and that's, slow. And that's why I was like, maybe, the, I don't know, this might be the right move. We just need one. Everything is slow, so it definitely throws people off right away. Well, it's a, it's yes! a big time mix. What it, a it's, it, you, 
you bring in somebody like that after having Duran on the mound, yep. and I mean they, they got it. They have to wait back on everything now. Well, we'll just let you they watch they just have to wait right back on every single thing. I told okay. you. I told you we're just gonna have you walk it off. Let's go, what baby! What a way to end it! What a way to end Boom. it! Boom! Hey, you, you no, got it. It's it all was, you. It was scripted too good. <laughs> it's all it you. Was, Take, it was scripted too damn well. Take your time. Promo whatever you got. Shout out whatever you want. Uh, all, it's Twitch, all you. Obviously, Twitch Boston TV. Uh, B A U S T I N and then TV. Uh. Instagram, I have it. Uh, Instagram is underscore Boston TV underscore. Uh, Twitter is Austin East 15. Uh, it's kind of my username that I've had for years. And But, I mean, if you just search up Boston TV on Twitter, you'll find it. Uh, TikTok, really big into TikTok. Boston TV over there. Literally Boston TV anywhere. You just type in Boston TV, you'll probably find it. Um, and if, whatever reason, y'all want to y'all wanna come check me out, uh, coming, Boston coming TV on Twitch. Coming soon to YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, YouTube <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to – I'm, I'm going to start experimenting with that again. But uh, I do appreciate uh, everybody tuning in to the video, and uh, and and Moss, I'll let you I'll let you take it away, Betty. That, that's it. Uh, yeah, I'll make sure I'll have all the stuff in the subscription. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I just want to say thank you to you for taking your time to do this, and yeah, I'll let you know when it's oh, yeah, up. Baby. Hopefully, hopefully everyone likes it and enjoys. Bye.